Hi, it is the Human Operating System Time. The channel is for education and technology. So in the past few weeks, I have shared in details the tools which is mentioned in the Restricting Wing Chun books. Such as all of those tools. Now, I get a few questions from our Wing Chun friends on these tools. And uh, our friends is telling me that all these tools are really expensive. So do I have low cost solutions instead of need all these expensive tools? So today I like to share with you there is low cost solutions. You don't need to buy these expensive tools. Like these tools, all those like the key tool and this ISO chain and this the handy gym. The entire thing costs about 2000 US dollars. You don't need that. Okay? I show you a solution in this video today. Okay? Now, from these friends who ask me about tools, some of the friends still really don't get what I'm presenting in the book. They don't understand it, they don't comprehend it, but because there's tools there, they thought that, okay, they might want to try it out and so forth. So today i like to share with you that low cost solutions, which is cost like about $30, and also share why is our Wing Chun friends do not comprehend or understand the restricting Wing Chun as it is written or at, as the ancient uh, Shaolin classic or uh, ancient Wing Chun. Now, the reason why I use all these expensive tools is because I want to make the modern sport science tools which use in athletes training, MMA training, weight training, strength training as a reference, as a standard reference. So it is reference in science and physics. It's no longer reference in like I'm the fifth generation from Red Boat. I'm the grandmaster. Whatever I say is the truth. Uh, this is my internal secret, all sort of stuff. No, the restricting Wing Chun is to, to, to take away all the wall and we use science as the base. So we know that today our MMA friend, our Judo friend, everybody is using science as the base and so do the Wing Chun 1850 present in the restricting Wing Chun is using science as the standard and because it is science as a standard of course I want to use professional grade type of device so that it is legit and using the professional grade device to verify what I am presenting. It's not that what Hendrik says so, no. 
Everybody is equal. Everybody be able to get it because it's a science. Okay? But it is not necessary for everybody is using these tools. Of course, if those who have uh, the money, this is good investment. Okay? However, it is not necessary. If you want to have fun with it and, and uh, do, do, to experience it, it, experience is very important. Okay? So that's a reason. Now, the one thing which is really important I'd like to share with you today is many of our Wing Chun friends don't get it when in the book I present the uh, multi-directional force, the momentum, the recycling momentum and the functional training. And that lead them to not be able to really understand what I'm talking about or what the ancients talking about since restricting Wing Chun is just you just tell what the ancient is teaching in today's language scientific language by evidence okay now that is a problem, a big, big misleading in traditional Chinese martial art in past 100 years, which we need to know. We need to know today. Otherwise, one will not be able to understand what is written in that uh, Shaolin Substract Classic or 1850s uh, Classic or the book Restricting Wing Chun, even is is a uh, 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 in today's language. Now, the number one problem misleading today in traditional Chinese martial art is what we call Ding Bu Ding Zhao Biao Yan or Fix Step Fix uh, Techniques demonstrations so if you look at today's traditional Chinese martial arts internal art in Wing Chun in your mind you will think it as a demonstration of this one guy standing in a fixed structure and showing his mind power, his structure power, his, uh, his uh, spine power, all kinds of stuff. Okay? Or standing in one fixed uh, stance and demonstrate his Fa Jing. Those kind of stuff. Okay? Or you will see the demo or you in your mind you will think about the demo of you take a step you do a punch and then you take another step you do a techniques or you take a step and then you do a block and then a punch those kind of stuff those are called the thing bu thing shi biao yan okay now all this thing bu thing shi is based on stationary fix like I want to get my student to push me I stand in my EG Kamyong Ma or in the stand say see you push me you push me you know fix it or I want to do a inch power okay I just have to do it proper get the stand fixed stance and then I do it mimic Bruce Lee and then this is the inch power or I will say okay this is Tan Sao Okay, this is Tan Da, and then he come here, I do Tan Da, those things. Those are all Ding Bu, Ding Shi, Biao Yan. Seriously, those are not traditional Chinese martial arts. Those are demonstration. Now, 
The disaster is when one took this demonstrations as the real traditional Chinese martial art. Oh, I want to learn the mind power or the structure power like this grandmaster. I want to learn this inch power. I want to learn this tan sao, this bong sao, like in the movie. It is a disaster. Or often you, you heard, you see, this MMA guy is using Wing Chun because he's using bong sao. This is all disaster. This is not traditional Chinese martial arts. So you say, well, Hendrik, this is what you talk about. What is the evidence to prove so? Well, it is really simple. Yesterday, I just made a video on General Chi Ji Guang's four point. General Chi Ji Guang said really specifically, combat fighting is about the play of impulse momentum, a play of momentum from one momentum change to the another momentum. He never said, you stand there, you have your power, internal power, structure power, all this thing. He doesn't say that. He never said that. In the entire chapter, he never said that. Okay? So, you might question me. Well, that is the general Chi Chi Guang writing, and then you just translate it as you like. Well, it is not so. It's very simple. You look at the Western boxer. You look at the Thai boxer. You look at the Judo ga. You look at the Kyokushin. Did they stand there doing a punch and then doing a block or taking falls? Just look at it. Like for example, in Kyokushin Open or Western Boxing Open, isn't it that it's keeping moving, keeping striking, the keeping non-stop the entire body and the attack is non-stop going on and it travel through the entire changing of range, changing of angle and changing of level. Look at today's MMA, isn't that true? Does anybody stand there and are doing your, your, your structure power, your mind power? Or have to be this way, tan sao this way? Did they do that? They don't, right? Well, that's real life. Real life is 事事相成变化无穷 as General Chi Chi Kuang write it. Momentum convert to another momentum, change to another momentum is keeping changing. Okay, you want to throw a kick? Are you going to throw a round kick this way? Like round kick this way? Or you move and kick at the same time? He goes with you, you move in with a knee kick. Those kind of stuff, it never ended. The body, the footwork, the arm strike go together. That is reality. That is what General Chi Ji Kuang said. But today is a different story. I want to learn Siu Lim Tao. So I have power, internal power. I want to learn Fa Jing, slow, smooth, soft, song, keeping song, using your Tan Tian. Have you ever seen that in Western boxing, in BJJ, in uh, Thai boxing, on those stuff. Why well, those stuff are in a different world? You can say, "Well, I want to do exercise." So you always have to be so loose. That is exercise. But if you have all this exercise, fixed step, fixed technique stuff. In the mind, thinking that is the, the, the ultimate, and you're keeping thinking that way is ultimate. Just look at the guy who fought Si Tiao Tong about two weeks ago, the Tai Chi guy. 
His body couldn't even handle his own movement. Okay? It's breaking up if you look at his movement. So we want to throw away those things. Those are actually disaster. Those fixed step, fixed move type of stuff. You want to have a proper concept of martial art, like Western boxing, like Muay uh, Thai boxing, like Judo. That is proper. There's a reality. No, no longer all this thing. Okay. Now, if you use this type of reality mindset, reading the restricting Wing Chun, you see what it is. But if you using the mindset of uh, stand still and then uh, have all these techniques, all this internal power stuff, then you'll not get it. Many people say, hey Hendrik, Right now, it's complete Wing Chun already. There's no need to reinstall. Well, the first problem is you need to get to the reality, have a reality check in your mindset. Otherwise, for sure, there's nothing to restore because you are living in a fantasy zone. Okay? Now, so this is important, okay? Now, so all the momentum, the recycling momentum, the multi-directional force, all is really critical basic functional training for the short strike Wing Chun in 1850s and the Shaolin short strike and the general Chi Chi Kong Ha. If you cannot handle that, then you will not be able to handle one momentum changing to another momentum. It's just like when you know you and me face. I want to do a, a a a low say a low round kick to you. I'm not going to go like this doing a round kick. I'm going to bait you. You come in in a step side, do an inner tie round kick, and coming with a with a knee strike. Well, it never stop, and by step side. Round kick, knee kick, another uh, elbow down. All this are uh, involving handling momentum, handling the uh, recycling momentum. It's just like. handling this drive. Okay? So it is handling the, the drive. Okay? You never stop, you never say this is Tan Sao, this is uh, whatever Sao. Even the round kick, is it changing? Is it going to go this way or going down this way? It depends on the situations. That's a life, that's reality. Okay? So, all those tools can be done with this. You can get a resistant bench, a thick one. And this is the door, uh, this is a door, door, door connector with a cabina here. Okay? So that uh, you can use this for the basic of this. Of course, you cannot do everything of this what $2,000 device, but you can get the most of it for the momentum, recycling momentum, and uh, close body, uh, uh, multiple strength, those kind of training. Now, it's very easy to use. So you hook it to the door. So this is the door here. I have one here, okay? So, I just hook it this way. So this is the door, hook it to the door, I just hook it this way. I'm going to show it, share it with you how to do it. Ok, 
Okay, so now you hook it like that. You hook it this way. Right? Now, if you want to train in momentum and recycling momentum, just put it this way. Okay? And uh, make sure that you don't pull this way. You want to pull this. So you have a, a force pull this way and you have the two force pull from behind. Okay? So you can go in step. Okay, you walk in, you see the, the band is pulling me now. And because of this pulling, I have force in all my direction. Okay? And then I can move to the other direction. That is the training of the momentum and the uh, recycling momentum for your entire body. And notice that you can go very fast. Okay, you can go changing different place, go up and down, like in the real combat. Not those soft, quiet, relaxed. No, that's momentum play. Okay, now with this. With this, I can hang it here like uh, using the ISO chain. Okay, I can make believe this is the opponent here. I'm struggling with him. So that is the training of the Close body, sticking body, multiple directions, strength. And this is for training for the momentum. Of course, this is tough. This is driving, right? Drive out, recycle the use of it. As uh, in the chapter four, five, six here, okay? So instead of having this, you're having this. And it forces you to use the entire body. Remember? As we talked just now, example, low kick, knee kick, the elbow down, or punch, entire body go. No longer standing this, doing this. Okay? No longer taking force here, but Keeping changing, struggling. That's the functional trainings of the body for the realistic combat. That's why today people say Chinese Kung Fu, when they train this, looks good, looks good, but in the real life, it's completely. You don't use it. And people argue. Why? Because reality is this. Not this perfect stance, looks good, so stuff. Or using your dantian. Do you use your dantian when you do this? Of course. But this is not a demo. You kept keeping walking, moving. So this is what I like to share with you today. And uh, if you like to use this.
you like to use this pen, you can get it like in Amazon, okay? I think this is less than $20, this is a few dollars. If you like to use this, I have no, I have one request to you. Wing Chuna, let's name this as the red bolt, the red bolt resistance bands. Okay, here on name it as the red bolt resistance bands or red bolt training band. Why? This is just to remember our ancestor, and there's no lineage in red bolt. In the Red Bull time, there's no lineage. Leong Zhan come after the Red Bull. Okay? So let's name it as the Red Bull Training Band or Red Bull Band. So that uh, we want to uh, appreciate what the ancestor do. You don't want to call this Hendrik Band. Okay? You don't want to call that. You call this red boat band so that everybody can use it and to improve ourselves. And also, please check with your doctor when you do this kind of stuff because it involved in cardio, endurance, cardio's health, and your muscle strength, all kinds of stuff. This is heavy, heavy duty stuff. So, like every time when you uh, using this sport equipment you need to check with your doctor okay don't do things which can injure yourself that is a must what is the point to learn how to fight but without knowing how to fight you already injured yourself